Hey guys, this is Ollie from Project Neutrino and welcome to part 2 of the UDK FPS tutorial. Sorry for the long delay, but finally it's here. So, in the last uh, tutorial, check it out in the link below if you haven't seen it yet, we made this little box here where our player can move around in and where our enemies will move around in eventually. We've also got our light source which just illuminates the world for us. So the first thing we need to do is choose where our player will spawn when he enters the game. So to do this we right click, go to add actor and add player start. So when, our, when we spawn into the game this is where we will be. I'm just going to move it into the corner over here. Now after we've done that the next thing we need to do is choose where the enemies will spawn. To do this we do the same, right click, add actor but this time we go to add path node and let's just drag that into the other corner up there. So the next thing we need to do is edit this path node to get it working. So we click on view, then we go down to unreal kismet and we click on that. We've done that, we need to right click, go to new action, go to act and go to act tree. And this will spawn in the different enemies we have in the game. So the next thing we need to do is set this all up so it works within our game. To do this we right click, go to new event, and then go to level loaded. So this, what this does is when loaded and visible, we, we want it to spawn an actor or an enemy. So each of these things, at the beginning of a level, we could drag something else. But we're just going to leave it with loaded and visible. So when the game is loaded and everything is working, it will spawn an enemy. Now the next thing we need to do is choose where this enemy will spawn when it's loaded and visible. So we need to get a point to something else, which will be our path node. To do this we right click, go to new object var using path node 2. Or path node 1, depends which path node, how your path node is named. Now we drag the spawn point over to the path node. And this will make our path node the spawn point for the enemy. Now we just need to set up a few variables for this. So we click on the factory and then we go down here to the factory drop down and now we need to go to UT Actor Factory AI and once we've clicked that we need to go down and click Force Deathmatch AI which will just make the AI act as though this is a deathmatch. Now the next thing we need to go do is go down to the Pawn class and change that to UT Pawn, which is down here. After we've done that, we can give the pawn name, but I'm just going to leave that as a blank for now. The next thing we need to do is do the default infantry inventory. Sorry, uh, this will just give the the character which spawns in the normal inventory, which is just a gun. Now. If you prefer, you can click on the inventory list and give it a specific gun, but I'm not going to worry about that yet, or a specific item. I'm not going to worry about that yet. So the next thing we need to do is select the spawn point, the spawn count. This is the number of times that the enemy will spawn. How many enemies will be spawned into the game? Uh, I'm going to go for five, which will spawn five enemies into the game. So now we've got all of that set up and that's all finished and ready to go. So let's just exit out of that and that will all be saved. The next thing we need to do is build the lighting. This means the UDK engine will generate the lighting for our game. So we go to build and then lighting. And it's as simple as that. Don't worry about any of these. We might look into them later, but at the moment we're just going to click OK. That will just generate the lighting for us. Oh, sorry, just need to allow access for that. And there we go, I think that's it's just generating the scene. Let's take a few seconds. I'm just going to pause the video here. Oh no, it's done. So, we're just going to close that. And now once we've done that, we need to build the AI path. which will This means the UDK engine will generate all the AI needed for the game. So again, we go to build, and then we go to AI paths. That was very quick, quick, quick as well. And we just need to press close and that's all done. Now the final thing we need to do is go to file, save as and choose your name. But it's very important when naming it you must have 
dm hyphen and then the name of whatever you, and then any name you want to. So I'm just going to do tutorial. The reason you have to have dm hyphen is so that this game is recognized as a death match. Otherwise your player won't spawn in with a gun and the enemies won't spawn. So now we need to save that. And believe it or not, we now have a finished and working game. So now what we need to do to play it, we just need to simply click play and in editor. And there we go. I've spawned in. Here are my enemies. Got to shoot them down. And as you can see, we very quickly made a very simple but powerful game very in a very easy manner. I've been Ollie, and thanks for watching my part two of the UDK tutorial. Stay tuned for part three coming soon.